Hey everybody, this is Sean from The Verge and I'm about to ride Segway's newest two-wheeled vehicle, the S-Pod. <laughs> when it starts going. So this is Segway's newest two-wheeled self-balancing vehicle. It's called the S-Pod. You can see I'm obviously in a seated position so I don't have to stand up like people normally do on a Segway. And the idea here is that, you know, you could do all the same things that you would normally do in a Segway, maybe tour a city, get around campus, but you can do it from this nice relaxed position where you're able to see all the lovely people who are watching you look like a technological fool. Now, one of the wildest things about this, the Segway S-Pod, is that it's controlled by this little joystick on the side of the thing. So I'm in full control of this movement here, and it can get up to 24 miles an hour, which is insane. Right now it's capped at seven and a half miles an hour, which on this little track is definitely plenty. We don't know when this thing will be on sale. Segway says they're thinking about selling it to consumers, but they want to start with sort of fleets and campuses and things like that first. Watch out, Bill. <laughs> but you can expect that if and when they do sell it to people, it's going to cost a pretty penny. So you're more likely to see this show up in maybe a city tour or maybe on a corporate campus or something like that. It's pretty rock solid. Like I'm having a little bit of trouble getting used to the joystick speed, but otherwise this thing does not feel like it's gonna tip over. You know, some people have looked at this thing since it got announced a couple weeks ago and wondered, why is it two wheels? Why isn't it three or four? If you had three wheels on this short of a wheelbase and you were trying to make turns like I'm making right now, you'd be on the floor already. And I will say it's kind of comfortable. There's like a suede padding on the seat. Uh, it's not very cushy, but for an early prototype of this thing, it's pretty well put together. There's a little light bar next to me that tells me how much battery is left. There are lights on the back of the thing that will tell people which way I'm turning, which right now is just sort of right and right again. There's a little button for a horn, which doesn't seem to work right now. <laughs> and there's a tablet in the other side that pops out, which you can use to remotely control the S-Pod as well. Now you might look at this and think that it's something for people who have trouble moving around, and it very well could serve that purpose. It's stable enough that I feel like someone who has mobility challenges might be able to use it. But we know Segway, and we know what Segways are used for. They wind up being the thing you use when you go to Washington, D.C. and want to tour the city or uh, move around a mall if you're a mall cop. And so I would expect that's where we're going to see these things first. Segway says it's going to ultimately try and sell the S-Pod to consumers. Who knows how much that'll cost? But what I can tell you is this. It may look a little weird, but what Segway doesn't? And it's definitely fun to drive. <laughs> Woo! I'll get it right this time. Whoa! All right. <laughs> so this is, whoa! I'm coming for you. <laughs> Stopping power is, leaves a little to be desired.